Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for returning for another uh, palette review. So I'm going to be doing another four, I think actually I did five looks. One palette review, okay? And I'm doing that on the Carity Posh palette. This one is, I think it was $26, $27. So this one is, you know, a little bit up there, you know, in comparison to the last review I did. <laughs> but um, this is the first palette that I've ever purchased from Carity. Um, so this is a nice velvet um, black, obviously <laughs> velvet casing. And it is cardboard, but it has a nice mirror. Sorry for the fingerprints. And then it has all of the shades. So it's really nice. Um, and yeah, I'm going to show you guys some swatches like I did for the last palette review. Oh, but yeah, this is what it's looking like. Okay, we got some warm tones in here. We've got some cool tones in here as well. And then some decent transition shades like here, um, this one and that one. And then some shimmer, um, a lot of shimmer, a lot of metallic shades, um, some mattes and things like that. But um mostly shimmer and metallics okay because it says that it has six finishes um frost matte satin velvet metallic and duochrome okay um so um yeah guys this is what the back is looking like and i'm gonna let you guys get into the looks that i did do a little voiceover like i did last time explaining you know the um, process that i the process that i used <laughs> to achieve the looks and um yeah i'll see you on the other side for my final thoughts Hey guys, so for this first look and for all the looks, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. And for this look, I'm going in with my Tarte um, concealer in the shade Rich. And I am going to go into Ginger. That is the uh, transition shade that I'm going to be using. It is a warm tone shade and it really matches well with my skin tone. So that's a perfect transition shade. And actually I'm going with that all over the lid. So today I'm going in, going for a basic look. Um, I think I only used two or three shadows in this look. And so to blend out the edges a little bit and to see how that other shade performs, I'm going in with Judy and that's more of a cool toned shade. And I'm just going in with that lightly around the perimeter um, of that transition shade that I laid down. So that part really, I don't think it's necessary, but hey it's there and for deepening up the crease I'm going in with Winona and just placing that right into that crease and blending that out slightly um, to <clears throat> come into uh, the a little bit into the transition area but um, this shade is very pigmented it's not the most pigmented black but you just want to tap in really lightly um, with your brush and then tap off any excess so that you don't put down too much and then it's like a mess so Definitely be careful with the black in this palette and then I'm going over everything with a, br a brush to blend that out the way I wanted it to be blended. I didn't want it to be too blown out so I just, you know, lightly blended the edges of that um, black shade. And this is the final look with mascara, liner, and all the rest of my face done. I think it's a really nice, you know, basic look that you can wear, you know, wherever to the office and things like that. Very light, smoky eye. For the second shade, we're going in again with the primer. And for the base to make the colors really pop, I'm going in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Taking that all over the lid. And here we are into the palette again, of course, I am going in with ginger and I want to blend out any um, harsh lines from the Milk Makeup Pen or the NYX Makeup Pencil and, um, and put that down as a transition as well. And so my first shade I'm going into is that deep purple shade called Carrie. And this is one of my favorite shades in the palette. And I'm so glad they made this one one of the bigger pans because I can see myself using this quite a bit. I think I used it two or three times during this whole, you know, um, five look process. So yes, this is a really good color. It's very pigmented and um, really nice. And so I'm taking that into the crease and on the inner or the outer third of my eye. 
And so this is going to be the shade that I use to deepen up that crease and really carve out the crease. And I'm taking that actually from um, end to end on my eyelid. And then this color is beautiful. It's a nice, super pigmented pink, um, pinky red shade. And it's called Charlize. And um, it's so beautiful. So I'm taking that on my finger to get the most pop out of that color. And it is just so pretty. Oh, my gosh. This is one of my favorite pops of color. I mean, I can't use this every day, y'all, but it's really nice. Um, and I think the names in this palette, they seem to be named after uh, iconic women. Um, so, yeah, like in Hollywood and famous women and things like that. But anyway, so I'm going back in with Carrie to... Uh, um, to make that purple pop a little bit more um, and replace any uh, color that I might have lost while I was applying uh, the Charlize color. And so for my inner third, I'm going in with Meryl. And this is a very nice shade. It's a nice duochrome shade. So in one light, it looks like a whitish pink color. And then in another light, it looks purple. So this is like a nice duochrome um, iridescent shade. And I think it went perfectly with this look because it just looks like a nice light lavender purple, but also it looks kind of pinky, like a light uh, pink. So very nice. So I'm going in here um, just with my fingers on each color to make them pop even more to make sure that the vibrancy is still there after I've done blending. So yeah, and then I'm going in with a fluffy brush to uh, blend out any harsh lines um, on that deep purple shade and just going in and, you know, replacing any color that may have, um, you know, disappeared while I was, you know, packing on the colors and things like that. So making sure everything is deep how I want it to be and popping how I want it to be. And so I did want to show you guys this pencil. They, they look like they're new from NYX. They're called Faux Blacks. And so they're really, really deep colors that I guess are almost black. And so this color is in the shade Oxblood. So this is a really, really rich, like brick colored um, eyeliner. And so I wanted to see how that would look um, as an eyeliner on this look. And, you know, it did a little bit of something, but it wasn't like, you know, really noticeable so I did go in and do a really really thin line of black liquid eyeliner um close to the lash line so it kind of covers that up but there's still a little bit of the you know oxblood liner peeking through and then I'm doing mascara and I guess I'm showing you guys all of this look <laughs> except the face but going in with some mascara that's an essence mascara and it's really nice five dollars <laughs> <laughs> all right and then for the brow bone I'm going in with Joan and just popping that lightly right underneath the eyebrow and it's really making that eyebrow uh pop the arch and all that it's making it pop really nicely and then I'm taking that uh Meryl shade that I used on the inner third of the eyelid I'm taking that down to the bottom or to the inner third on my <laughs> bottom lid And here is the final look. Eyeshadow, mascara, eyeliner done, face done, and here it is. And I'm really loving this look, guys. That Charlize color is beautiful. <laughs> so here we are on the third look, going in with that um, primer again, of course. And then for this look, I'm using Michelle in the transition area and once again like I had with the other palette this this color looked matte but it really is not it has a sheen to it as you can see and I'm just getting frustrated because I'm like man I thought this was matte it is not so I did that to both eyes because I put it there and then I'm trying to cover this up with what I think is another matte shade that's in a similar tone and this is Judy this is a taupey um cool tone shade and that really didn't do what I wanted, so I just went back to Ginger. See, I was trying to use a different transition shade to give y'all a little bit more variety, but I'm using Ginger to cover that all that up to um, bring it back to a uh, good look. <laughs> and so I'm going in with my NYX Milk Pencil on my eyelid to give the shadows a pop. 
And I do believe this is Easter Sunday. This is the look I wore on Easter Sunday. So I'm going in with neutral shades today. And so now I'm going in with Elizabeth. And I am packing that on with my finger. I love to use my finger for shades when I can. And this pan is really big enough for me to get in there real good. So I'm packing that on the center um, of the lid and a little bit towards the outer third of the lid. And so for the inner third, I'm going in with Jones. So I want to do a nice golden transition to uh, champagne color, which is what Joan is. Joan is champagne. Um, so... Um, that's what I'm doing with this brush, packing that on to that inner third and then blending that over the gold of Elizabeth, blending that over that um, line. And then to deepen up the crease, I am going in lightly with the black shade Winona in the crease. And similar to like I did in my first look, just going in lightly and just putting that right in the crease. I don't want this uh, smoke, the smokiness of this look to be blown out too much. So I'm focusing that on the crease and then I'll blend a little bit outwards, um, you know, to um, make it blended. And then going back in with ginger and going over that area. So not only am I blending over the outer edge of that, but to tone it down a little bit, I'm going on top of it. And here's the final look with eyeliner, mascara, and the rest of the face done. And I really liked this look as well. It just blended so seamlessly. Um, no harsh lines or whatever. These shadows are really nice. They perform really nicely together. All right, and for our first, fourth look, eyeshadow primer again this actually should have been the last look but I forgot that I needed to you know film the talking portions of the video <laughs> so y'all got a little bonus look um but here we go I'm going in with deep um tart shape tape and this is a really great you know eyeshadow base guys so if you have it you know consider it but um ginger of course for the transition and then I'm going in with this different, um, it's a more of a bronzy tone. It's called Helena. And I'm going in with that all over the lid. And this is just going to be another neutral toned um, eye look with a little bit of sparkle in that bronze shade. And to deepen up my crease, I am using Carrie. So yes, going in with Carrie into the crease area and just blending that out into the crease and um, making this more of a little bit of a sparkle purple smoky eye and blending the edges of course with uh, ginger again to make sure that there aren't any harsh lines and I like the dimension that this added to the look this is a beautiful look and I really like this palette guys look at that it's so pretty but so subtle so you know great it's just great and so for this last look, I made a mistake and did not record the first portion. So I went in with Audrey, that big like taupey uh, matte shade in my transition, as well as Ginger. And then I went over my lid with Michelle. And I'm trying to do a light um, transition in the inner third of the eye with Sissy to Michelle. But they both pretty much look the same on my skin tone. So um, yeah, but this is a cool tone shade. Um, so well, these are all cool tone shades except ginger, so I'm going to get an overall cool toned look, and I'm very happy that I was able to um, show this to you guys because not everybody wants a warm look all the time. So um, I'm going in with that black shade to deepen up that crease slightly to make this a cool toned um, smoky eye. And so I do like the way this turned out, going over the edges with a clean brush um, just to blend out that black. And here is the look, guys. I really enjoyed this palette, really enjoyed doing this review for you guys, and I hope you liked it. And here are my final thoughts. Okay, guys, I hope you really enjoyed um, those looks. Um, I had a really great time doing them. And once again, I really, really, really enjoyed that colorful look that I did, okay? With the um, purple and the like reddish pink shade, that 
that color is super pigmented. All right, y'all saw it. I don't have to go back into it, but you guys saw it. Um, but I really like this palette, okay? Um, as you can see, the eyeshadows performed so nicely especially all the metallics or the in the you know the the shimmer shades oh i really loved that gold um look that i did on the sunday um that was easter sunday actually and i really enjoyed that look it just blended so easily together like it just looked so seamless the eyeshadow look did and i really really like this palette um so if you are looking for you know some pinks purples um a, a palette with some pinks and purples that you can get a full eyeshadow look with this is a really great option like it's really great the only thing you know I am not the biggest fan of how small these pans are they are very small so um you know I mean you can get your brushes in there you're not trying to go in there with like a blush brush or anything like that and I was able to get my fluffier brushes into these um shades but um yeah, those are just really small. So, I mean, that would be maybe a drawback. But then again, I'm thinking that maybe they did that um, for these to be like kind of like accent colors. I don't know. And then these to be your like the shades that you would be going in to do some blending with a bigger brush. So maybe that was their idea with the um, style of this palette or the layout of the palette. Um, so, yes, I really like this palette. I give it two thumbs up two thumbs up okay i definitely recommend it if you're in the market for a palette and you don't mind spending the 27 dollars because these are really quick great quality eyeshadows and i like the palette so much that i already um bought another carity palette to see how that one performs and it's a smaller palette it was only 20 dollars um but we're gonna see how that goes too so i think i might do another review on that um it only has nine shades whatever i don't have to get into it i'll show you guys when i get it okay but this one as far as this one is concerned the only thing that i've noticed i've only had it for a few weeks but it seems like it's coming apart a little bit okay which is really not good like this part is coming a loose from the backing is coming a loose from the actual like um you know holder so i'm gonna just put some glue on that and it'll be fine i don't care i just wanted to sh let you guys know that um uh, that that it does seem to be coming apart maybe i'm handling it too rough i don't know but you know whenever i'm trying to pull this apart sometimes i make a mistake and pull this because it is actually coming a loose you can see my nail is getting right up in there so <clears throat> so I wanted to glue that but I'm like well let me show them first and then I'll glue it so I'm gonna glue that and that'll be fine but the mirror is nice I really love that it has a mirror that the previous palette review that I did that candy peach palette I was really needing a mirror like these palettes that don't come with mirrors please at least try to do some a little strip something because it's hard to hold a palette and hold a separate mirror and hold your brush and do that at the same time, you know? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely recommend the Carity Posh palette to you guys. I'll put some information um, in the description bar, like the link and all that stuff that you can go to to get it and things like that. And yeah, let me know if you guys are enjoying these types of videos. Definitely with a thumbs up, a like, a comment, you know, um, subscribe. <laughs> um and yeah you'll definitely get more of these types of reviews from me because they're really fun and i've actually did not plan on doing five looks but i had forgotten where that i needed to record an intro and outro yesterday so here we are with another look a bonus look for you guys this is definitely an everyday friendly palette with your golds um your mattes um some of your more shimmery shades and things like that you got um, this cool tone here that you can use if you're like a cool want a cool tone transition a warm tone transition for women of color very women of color friendly these deep inner shades right there deeper shades they look really nice this black performs really nicely i just go in with a nice little light hand and deepen up that crease and it looks really good and the purple can do the same thing um so yeah really really great palette everyday friendly woman of color friendly so yeah those are my thoughts Definitely pick it up if you're interested and I will talk to you all later. See ya.